been doing this for about five years now uh, and the reason I became involved in this issue uh, seeing the trailers go by all the time really touches my heart it um, once I learned everything that was happening to the horses once they're tagged for slaughter is just an unacceptable end for such a noble creature. The horses are very sacred to a lot of native tribes because they were medicine. We had this connection with the horse, the, their spirit. We could feel their spirit and we respected their spirit because they were here by the creator to, to use a horse in such a way, not to abuse them. It breaks my heart to see that we just dispose of the old horses. Once, you know, once we get to a certain age, we just go, oh, well, they're too old. And it's like, no, that's when they really have something that they can, they can give, they can share. And, um, as you can imagine, um, conditions are very, very bad. Nobody cares about these animals at this point. And there are only a price per pound that's, that's left. And the skinnier the horse, the poorer quality the horse, the less money is in the horse. So um, these horses are just treated with no dignity, no respect, nothing. They're treated like they're already dead open mind and a very open intelligence about it so that you can be very pro-horse and realize that shutting it down at a very local level does not shut down the problem. So we need to really look at this as, an, as a holistic issue and really fight it from a lot of different angles. They embody the spirit of what I think we all long for, which is freedom, strength, grace, beauty. Really a, a driving force for me to, to use what I called for a long time in my marketing was painting with a purpose, you know, to use the art to make a difference on their behalf. The purpose of the Children's Art Project was to bring awareness of the horse. And so we have found that through the love of the horse, and by bringing him to the forefront, whether it's through paintings or drawings, that people become more aware of the horse and what they're going through. We held our uh, third annual last year, and we wanted to bring it back here to the, to the beautiful square here in Santa Fe, and we just want to bring, embrace the people and also bring awareness about what's happening with our, with our horses. was a skull of a horse. Amber told me this skull was found in the creek bed near the holding pens on the border. And I named her Spirit to represent the spirit of all the horses that have endured this horrible ending. They are abused, they are slaughtered awfully, and I don't know what else to say except somebody, the citizens of this nation, have to help them. There are still thousands of horses going to Canadian and Mexican slaughter every year. We really have to work to ensure that uh, the slaughter pipeline is stopped and that every single horse gets the, the dignified care that they need, uh, particularly end of life, so that uh, the slaughter uh, cannot continue to be an option here. It breaks my heart every time a trailer passes by, but in turn, I make a promise to those horses that that I'm here for them. <laughs>